There are a lot of rules when it comes to recycling, and it can get confusing. That's why our sponsor, the Michigan Department of Environment, Great Lakes and Energy, or EGLE, launched its new Know It Before You Throw It campaign. And we want to welcome Amy Lafferty from EGLE, along with Danielle Spaulding from Battery Solutions. Ladies, thank you for being here. Thank you. And we're talking batteries, and this is like the perfect time to talk about this for me, because I have some that I'm trying to get rid of. But what is the new effort um, that's being put out by the state of Michigan? Yeah, so the Michigan Department of Environment, Great Lakes, and Energy, or EGLE, as you said, has launched this new Note Before You Throw It recycling campaign. Okay. And we launched this to kind of help better inform Michiganders what they can and can't recycle curbside, and then also to kind of promote some recycling best practices. Mm -hmm. So Michigan's current recycling rate kind of hovers around 50 15%, and that's the lowest in the Great Lakes region and also one of the lowest in the country. Okay. So we're hoping to double our recycling rate to 30% by 2025 with this and also kind of promote some of the economic and environmental benefits of recycling as well. That's great. And I think that know it before you throw it will be helpful because then once you know what to do, mm -hmm. then you'll be more likely to do it. So Eagle provides guidance on what to do with recyclable materials like metals, glass, plastic, mm -hmm. and so on. But what about batteries? Talk to us about this, because I was telling them off camera, I have a bunch and I don't know what to do with them. Mm -hmm. Yes, yeah, so um, batteries commonly are not accepted curbside. And the most important thing to remember is that for all materials, but especially materials like batteries that you can't put in your curbside recycling bin, is to check with your local recycler. Because they, while you may not be able to put it in your curbside bin, there may still be options such as drop-off locations, or you may be able to send them in somewhere, like battery solutions in your area. So that's the most important thing to remember, is always check with your local drop recycler. Drop-off solutions, mm -hmm. I didn't even know about that. So Danielle, how can battery solutions help? Well. Uh, uh, so we provide items like uh, mail-in pails, for example, and for us, uh, we've actually been servicing Michigan for over 25 years mm -hmm. and are actually a leader in North America around battery recycling solutions from end-to-end -end management, whether that be collection through the pails or logistics services or battery sorting. We do try to provide a full range of services based on any size of battery that people may have. So when you look at pails like this, you can order them right on online, for example, with prepaid shipping. That's so awesome. it can come right to your home. Once you fill it up, it can be sent right back without any issue or concern. Now, I, can I put all my batteries in something like this, like the old yeah. cell phone batteries, the mm. double A's and triple A's? How does that work? That is a fantastic question. So we have a few of the common household batteries here. Okay. <laughs> um, and what you will find is that there are two things if you're going to buy a pail online, for example, or a box and have it shipped to your home. The first is the weight, okay? Yeah. So there is different different size of pails, so please do make sure that you check to see if you're like me with a small one, mm -hmm. you're going to have a lot of batteries in your house. Mm -hmm. um, or you want to double check what types of batteries can go in these pails. Okay. Um, for example, some can be co-mingled like this one, and you can put all of these types of batteries from cell phones to laptop cases to just the standard ones that might be in your remote control mm -hmm. right into the pail itself. Okay. Um, other ones require certain chemistries only. Mm -hmm. So there are two things we ask people to look out for and that includes one is if it has the word lithium on the battery itself, mm -hmm. then we ask that you go ahead and actually tape it on both ends. And right here, we actually just have some standard tape. I just grabbed it from my desk. And all you need to do is very simply um, go ahead and tape each end. You're so helpful. Thank you. Like, it's oh, wonderful. <laughs> She's great. Um, and then you can go ahead and put it in the pail directly. Okay. Um, the other item that you would need to tape is anything specifically such as nine volt or larger. So these are things I'm going to find in my garage quite frequently. Okay. And then these contact points is the only other area. And again, just take clear plastic tape. So when they come into the facility, we have to be able to see them and sort them. Mm -hmm. uh, and you can put it right in the pail itself. Very good. Good. This is great information. I'm going to be putting to this to use immediately. Mm. Yes, yes. To learn more about the new Eagle campaign and to get more information on recycling, visit RecyclingRaccoons.org. I love them, by the way. And if you want to learn more about how to recycle your batteries, visit BatterySolutions.com.